respected teachers and friends. I am Anvi Mishra from class 6i and today I am giving my science project about wound healing. How does wound heal? Today we are going to learn about the amazing and magical process by which wounds heal. Wound healing takes place in four steps. Hemostasis, inflammation, proliferation and maturation. The first step of wound healing is hemostasis. This is the process in which the wound is closed and blood stops leaking by platelets clotting with fibrin. As shown here in the model, the brown particles represent the platelets clotting with fibrin. The second step of wound healing is inflammation. It includes four things, swelling, redness, heat and pain. As shown here, WBC as represented by the white specks reach the area and remove pathogens. The red specks represent the swelling, heat and redness and it is different from other hands as it is to give a better mental image of inflammation. Proliferation is the third step of wound healing. Wound is rebuilt with new tissue of collagen. Wound contracts as new tissues are built and the granulation tissue formed on top in the color of red brown shown in the model is uneven in texture and is known as scab. Maturation which is the fourth and final stage of wound healing. This is the stage of remodeling where collagen which was present in stage 3 is remodeled and fully aligned. Scab is no longer needed and is removed by leaving a scar behind on the skin as shown on the model. This reduces scar thickness and the skin on the wound is stronger. It starts 21 days after an injury and may continue for a year or even more. If maturation is not done successfully, there may be infection in the wound. This is known as an infective or non-healing wound. This is caused by improper wound care, infection, diabetes and then other medical condition. The signs of infection as shown here is swelling and lot of pain near the wound. Thick greenish fluid as again shown in the model was from the wound and the patient may also suffer from high fever. If we do not want an infected wound, wound care is necessary. The deeper, larger and dirtier a wound is, the more care it needs. Apply pressure from a bandage and use Savlon or Dettol to clean. Apply ointment and if using bandage, clean regularly. Do not make the wound wet and try to keep pets away from the wound and avoid, avoid picking and scratching on scabs. Thank you for giving me your time. Happy healing! So I hope this project gave us more information about wound healing as well as wood care.